What's up guys? Today I want to tell you a little bit about my second powerlifting meet ever. Now I was recently telling somebody this story. Uh, the guy was having a hard time prepping for a meet and I thought this might be a worthwhile story to tell a few more people via this YouTube channel. So uh, to tell you a little bit of background, first off, I was training at the time using some sort of bastardized version of Westside combined with Smolov Jr. and a little 5-3-1 sprinkled in because obviously if one program's good, three is better, right? Anyways, I went to unrack a squat that should have been around my opener, maybe two, three weeks out, and uh, got a big pop in my back, decided ah, I was gonna take the squat anyways, descended to the bottom, just got absolutely crushed, just stapled by a weight that should have been an opener. As a result of this injury, I had a really nasty stabbing pain uh, in my upper back, couldn't really breathe without discomfort, definitely couldn't squat, couldn't bench press, and couldn't did lift. So two to three weeks out from the meet, I wasn't able to do any training whatsoever. I ended up going into a chiropractor, getting it kind of worked out, the stabbing pain went away, but I ended up with a lot of residual muscle spasm, everything was very, very tight. I think pretty close to the meet, I was able to get in a little bit of lifting, but long story short, I went into the meet and I bombed. I bombed on my squat. Now, part of that was poor decision making. Part of that was, you know, not being able to train for a period of time. But the moral of the story is I went into a meet, I bombed, I cried, I was pissed off, and I'm still here. Sometimes I think people go through tough patches in training and uh, it can be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It can be hard to keep going. But I think as much as I preach, oh, you're not hardcore and you can't take yourself too seriously, this stuff is tough sometimes. It's like a bad lover. You put a lot in, you, you get your nutrition, you sleep properly, you do the work, you fix your technique, you train your ass off, and it just doesn't seem to pay off. Now, that sucks, but we keep coming back because we love it. And eventually, if we can find a way to train through that's healthy, both mentally and physically, we'll come out the other side and we'll remember why we love powerlifting. So if any of you guys are struggling through meat preps, struggling through injuries, just remember it eventually will get better or you'll get better at dealing with it or maybe some combination of both. But I just thought I would share that story uh, and let everybody know that just because a meat goes poorly uh, doesn't mean your career's over, right? I told this to a client of mine just recently. He was really stressed out about his first meet and whether or not he was gonna hit his numbers and qualify for provincials and these kinds of things. And I told him, just remember, it's your first meet, not your last. 